Hi, you guys. Okay, testing one, two, three. I have a new mic and I need to see if it's working. So I'm gonna let a few people arrive here before I start uh, the video. How are you doing today? Hi, can, can y'all hear me fine? Is the mic a lot better or same? I'm trying to get feedback on the mic. Is the mic better or a lot better? How much better? Can I talk like this or do I need to hold it up? Okay, y'all look. Look at this mic. How y'all doing? Okay. Uh all right. So Mike is a success. Thank you, guys. Um, so, okay, so one of my lovely, lovely subscribers sent me this mic. And thank you. I appreciate it. I love gifts. Um, so, thank you. Okay, so let's get into it. Why do women feel guilty for what they deserve to have? Because a lot of women have an issue with, with accepting things, with letting men do things for them because they have the independent women syndrome and they have a lot of trouble just accepting, like they just have a lot of trouble accepting what is, you know, right. And because they've been conditioned so long to do for other people, to do for other people and not do for themselves and, you know, if you're given any little crumb, you should feel thankful and grateful. But when you demand something or when you ask for something or when you want something, you're made to feel guilty for wanting it. And, oh, you don't need that. Oh, you're materialistic. Oh, no, you don't supposed to have stuff like that. You should be this and that. But why do you want it if you're not supposed to have it? Why do you crave it if you're not supposed to have it? Why do you like it? Why are you attracted to it if it's not what you deserve? You know what I'm saying? If you look at something and you don't want it, you know, you're not bothered by it. But if you keep seeing something that you like, if you see a nice house, a nice car, a nice item of clothing, you feel like you would look good in it. You should be there. You belong there. Then you do. Okay. Don't let anybody tell you different. Okay, a lot of women are stuck with these broke men who are putting stuff in their mind. Oh, we don't need all that. Oh, you don't need that. Oh, you don't have to have that. Oh, I like your hair just like that. You don't have to do nothing to it, which means I'm not paying for you to get extra done to yourself. I'm not paying to live above what I'm comfortable paying for. I don't think you should have this because I can't afford it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, when you're out on a date and you're meeting a new man, you know, automatically, However you dress, the place that you go, the things that you talk about will set the tone of what you expect throughout the relationship if it continues. So that's why I always say, ladies, when you have a first date or a first real date, go big. You know, demand five-star restaurant, four-star restaurant, valet parking, dress nice, you know, because this is going to set the tone of how he's going to treat you and what he's going to give you. If he feels like you're high maintenance from day one, he's not going to call you back or waste your time. You know, he's going to be like, I can't afford this. Oh, shoot. I spent all my rent money, you know, but if he can, he's not going to give you the least. He's going to give you what you expect because this is the bare minimum that you expect. So no, like, like this person just said, no coffee dates, no cheap wine dates. Look, I can take myself to coffee. I can go have a glass of wine after work anytime. If I'm going to spend time, you know, getting to know a person, I want it to be a memorable, memorable experience as well as a pleasant one. So I would prefer to go to a really nice restaurant that, you know, has a great ambiance and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you're getting a chance to be seen out with me in public. And I would be embarrassed if you took me to some cheap place you know, to be seen out with you in public. So I really need to be seen in a nice environment, in a nice place, get what I like, get what I deserve, because I'm doing you a favor, basically. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you have to approach these things when you start off dating. 
set your standard super high. Then after the first, second, third date, you can start going down, you know, as you get to know the person. But when it comes to gifts, you know, money, birthday gift surprises, uh, expectations, it's always going to be up here because that's your first impression. Okay. Um, okay. So another thing is how you dress. Okay. Y'all see I'm dressed up today. Okay. I have on a really nice velvet blazer, military style, a uh, nice little choker, a stripe shirt, some riding boots, and some dark jeans. Uh, uh, uh. Now, if I go somewhere like this, no broke men are going to approach me, okay? Because I don't look broke, and I look like I don't deal with broke people. Look like you want to live, okay? If you dress nice, you're going to be treated as such. They don't know how much money you have. If you're dressed like money, they're going to treat you like money. And when people start treating you like money, everyone will treat you the same. Everyone will treat you A plus high class, you know? Um, so if you just go walk around the store like this or go run your errands like this, people are going to look at you and like, wow, she's very classy. Wow. She's probably, you know, she's probably either married to, you know, a rich guy or she has money herself. They're going to treat you nice. They're going to act their best around you. They're going to be like, oh, hi, how are you today, ma'am? You know, but if you dress raggedy with some dirty sweatpants on and a t-shirt and some, uh, you know, some sneakers on and your hair all messed up, they're going to be like watching you and calling security. Okay. So make sure when you step out the house, you look good because treatment starts from everywhere from the mail lady, from the post office, from the people at the store, they're going to automatically treat you good based on your appearance and your get up, okay? Because people respect uh, people who look like their life is together, okay? Might not be together, but you can look the part and people will start treating you as such. You will get better opportunity. You will get more attention. You will get more, um, you know, um, quality people that will approach you. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get the losers. Um, so make sure you understand the difference between classy and trashy. Tight clothes. Maybe they, if they, uh, they might cover everything, but if it's too, too, too tight, it's still considered a little bit trashy. Probably best for the evening when you're out on a sexy date. But now when you're out in the daytime, just chilling, running errands, you know, buying your Sephora, you know, getting your nails done, blah, 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 blah. Don't walk out looking, you know, raggedy just because you're not going anywhere special. Every day you go somewhere, you might bump into somebody. You might bump into an ex-basketball player. You might bump into, you know, some, just anybody. If you're looking like this, like a uh, wife material or I have her at my basketball game sitting courtside or in the fam in the family section. She's going to look good on camera. This is how you're supposed to present yourself. Okay. So any guy that hits on you from a car is suspect. That's what I say. Because first of all, it's probably not his car. He's probably renting it or borrowing it because men don't hit on women in car from cars, you know, unless they're trying to show off the car. You know what I'm saying? And most of the time, they either work for a car wash or a car dealership and driving the car to the next dealership. So I don't, don't even fall for that most of the time. Okay. Because I had that done before. This guy was driving a nice car. He, he couldn't afford it. I know he was driving it to get gas and bring it back to the dealership um, because it was like a, from a used car lot. It was a nice car, but I know it wasn't his. So I just ignored him. Like, I know that's not your car. <laughs> For real, because you 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 trying too hard with it. Okay, so back to the point, y'all. This is my real hair today. I don't have no wig on. Uh, I was like, well, let me take this wig off. My my real hair is growing. So I'm like, you know, let's let's realize what we deserve instead of taking less. Okay. I keep seeing all these dudes posting. I want to build with you. I want to build with, do I look like Bob the builder? Do I look like Bob the builder? I don't build. Okay. I move in and I unpack and I decorate. If you want somebody to build with you, go get you another man. Okay. 
I am not Bob the Builder. I am not a construction worker. So these men who are asking you to build or you need a good man, imagine what we could have together. I'm like, no, like, no, like say no to that. A lot of these women are falling for it in the comments. Oh yeah, if I had somebody, it would be much easier. Yeah, it would be easier, but you know what else would be easier? To have a roommate and keep your options open so you could upgrade and uh, find a man who has more money who can actually take care of you. That would be easier, you know what I'm saying? Um, so a lot of the women who are falling for the 50-50 okie doke, you know, you're not even leaving your options open. And now y'all, you're stuck in a relationship that you don't want and you know you don't even deserve because you deserve better. And now you're figuring out, trying to figure out how to leave this broke dude because you know you can do better. You should have never been with him in the first place. You should have just been like, we're just roommates because I'm paying half the rent and I'm not committed to you. Never commit to anyone unless it's 100% what you want and you can deal with for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? Women are so quick to want a commitment from anything, moving, any any type of man. But look at where you're going to be from at five years from now. You know, are you still going to want to be there? What if you can do better? You know, leave your options open. If you're sharing rent and bills with a man, do not commit to him fully. Tell him, look, we're living together. We're helping each other build. But I'm leaving my options open because, you know, I could actually have the same situation with a female roommate and be dating many, many men um, and, you know, not even having to pay half the rent because they would. So you need to let people know before they ask you to go 50-50 in a relationship that you have better options. Okay. And tell them, look, I'm not moving in and I'm not living with you unless you're paying every single bill in this house. Okay. Um, because you deserve that. I mean, what are you going to do? You're sleeping with him. First of all, people will pay you money to sleep with them. So you're going to sleep with somebody free and give them money. That's stupid. You're dumb. Okay. You deserve more than that. Well, what about love? Okay. Well, he can tell you he loves you all he wants and save his money from paying the whole entire rent and be taking out Sharkeisha on the side. Okay. Then you're going to feel foolish. So Never let a man have sex with you while you live with him if he's not paying all the bills. Okay? Don't do it. It's not worth it. Say, you know what? I don't have sex with my roommate. <laughs> Move on in. And when you try to get some and you say, well, are you paying all the bills? No, you're going to pay that. Oh, okay. Don't give none. Why are you not giving me sex? Why are you not giving me I don't have sex with my roommates. Bam. What do you mean? Well, if you're asking me for half the rent, I'm just a roommate, baby. I'm not the girlfriend. The girlfriend don't pay. Okay. Do you want a roommate or you want a girlfriend? You choose. Because I deserve better than this. And I'm not going to sit here and give you free sex and you asking me to pay bills. Oh, no. What? That, that's, that's the best deal in the world. And I, I'm not a discount chick. I'm not giving you no discount. You're my roommate. Okay. And, you know. If you asking me for money and asking me where I'm getting money, don't worry about it. You're my roommate. All you need is the, the, the bill money at rent time. Mm -hmm. Right? Sorry, y'all. I know that, that mic's probably loud. I forget about this, but I'm going to put it over here. So, you know, a lot of you women who are on my channel, y'all write me and talk about how you're in a, a relationship with a guy who won't do anything, who won't better himself, who won't do anything for you. You're paying for all this stuff and they want more from you. Okay. You deserve more than that. Even if you're single, you're better off. You know what I mean? You're better off because what is he going to get you for Christmas? Think about this. Let's think about this. Those of you who are in a, a relationship with a broke man, what, what is he going to get you for Christmas this year? What did he get you last year? Some underwear, a gift certificate to Applebee's. What did he get you? A cookbook? What else? Tell me some stuff in the comments. What do broke men get their women for Christmas? Put it in the comments. Let me see. Because I don't know. <clears throat> a pack of cigarettes? Okay, what else? Body spray? Okay, what else? Nothing? Okay, nothing. Nothing. A side chick? A stick of gum? Excuses, bath and body works, a headache, a handmade card, nothing. God, they're coming in so fast. Sex, low cost perfume, an apron, nothing. BS, many lies, nothing. 
fresh air cheap cheap dudes okay well std perfume cookies okay that's enough y'all that walmart pack set okay 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 that's enough y'all have to put them on okay y'all get it right so why are you staying with this person why are you staying with a man who is going to get you crap for christmas okay when you can be getting jewelry trips shopping sprees gift cards for worth more than a couple of hundred dollars computers cameras phones why are you with a broke man who can't do nothing for you you know um and what did you get him for christmas i bet you got him something way better than he got you right mm -hmm. so if you're if your christmas gift is is not anything great and you still stay with the man that that right there shows him how shows you how much he cares about you you know nothing he, he didn't give you nothing um so for me it's a deal breaker it's like you know what when i was a child christmas was my favorite holiday now it's my worst holiday because i know exactly what to expect nothing okay i go to work i come home i do this i do that i got you a nice gift um i can't depend on anybody in my life except for maybe my mama to get me something decent and i'm here sitting here with you sleeping with you all the time paying half the rent and here i get uh, a walmart bath set okay no 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 okay no i'm gone bye i deserve better right so you get a, you could probably get a better christmas gift dating some dude than you could from the man you live with the man who, who you're dating will probably try to impress you more than the man that you under a roof with so make sure you understand why you're staying in a relationship is it because you're scared to move on and can't do no better or do you feel like you deserve it and that's all you need and mediocre life is good enough you know stop stop making excuses for your man if you have to keep making excuses for your man that's a red flag okay i have done so many consultations for women and they start off this is how they start off making excuses but he's a good man but he's a good man but no he's a broke man okay there's good men everywhere he's a broke man that's what you that's what you really want to say okay so he's a good man but he doesn't want to do any better with his life but he doesn't appreciate me but he doesn't spend money on me or give me anything special but okay so he's a good man but he's broke or he's stingy and he doesn't care about you that's the point you're not worth anything to him because you're not worth anything to yourself because you stay there and you accept it if you got mad one good time at him not doing something right or giving you something that you asked for for christmas if you go crazy one time he'll never do it again he'll make sure he's saving his little coins to get you a gift because he don't want you to explode on him in front of everybody you have to be crazy at least a couple times in your life to get what you want and that's the truth you know what i'm saying imagine on christmas day you open in your gift and it's some crap right don't say thank you don't pretend don't fake it okay you need to embarrass him hard in front of everybody okay this will teach him a lesson he will never do this again next year even if he's not doing it for you he's doing it for everybody else's eyes this is what you got to do <sighs> this is crap are you serious are you serious you Give me that stuff I bought you back. I'm taking it back to the store and get my money because you just, you know what? I stay home with you all, you know, I stay home, cook, clean, you know, go to work, watch your kids, da 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 da, and you buy me some crap Walmart gift set. Give me back my stuff. I'm going to take it back to the store right now and get my money back and buy myself something because you don't know how to treat me. You don't appreciate me. Yes, I'm embarrassing you in front of all your family because you deserve it. You ain't no man. You know what? I said it. Yes, I'm so sorry, but I'm just sick of this crap. Then go in the next room and then laugh. <laughs> He gonna be so embarrassed. He gonna bring you something the next day. Post this on Instagram. Post this. On, that's not your real present. It's on the way. Then you gotta go hurry up and order something on Amazon. Okay, Prime. So make sure you make that craziness known. Because if you just say, "Oh, thank you," then he's gonna get you another thing like just like that next year, and for Valentine's Day, and for your birthday. Oh, she liked it. Okay, you got to go crazy. 
you got to go crazy in front of people. Embarrass them, okay? You got to embarrass them because they won't learn if you just say it. Oh, well, you got to do better. I really don't like that. If you just be quiet and you, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. Then two months later, you explode. Well, you got me a crappy Christmas present. It's almost Valentine's Day. You know, it's shh. do it right then and there. If you don't like something, you don't accept it. That's one of the 17 laws of success. If you don't like something, do not accept it. Okay. Point blank, period. If you don't like something, if something is not good enough for you, throw it away. Throw it away in front of them. Throw it in the garbage, stomp on it, do something. You don't want it. It's done. It's over. Okay. That's going to send a message to their brain. Don't come with the BS with me. Okay. Because I'm not taking it. You can call me selfish, materialistic, evil, whatever, but I guarantee you nobody is going to come with some BS next Christmas. Okay? So, that's what you have to do. You have to go crazy. Because you deserve better and you know you do. Everybody else is just watching your reaction. What you're, What is she going to do? He got her some crap. What is she going to She going to fake it this time? She going to smile? My husband got me some jewelry. What did he get her? Oh, my God. Let's just watch and see what she did. Oh, she just smiled and took it. <laughs> Stupid girl. You know, the mom is going to secretly be cheering you because she want her son to be better, too. Like, dang, that's all you got your wife or your girlfriend? You, you, you sorry. I'm shaving you my son. But she ain't going to say nothing. She, Oh, that's so nice. What flavor is that? I mean, what scent is that? And she's going to be cheering inside for you. Like, maybe she will get him together. Maybe he will do better for her, himself because she, she's making him man up, you know? Um, and I don't care if his relatives get mad at you. Just say, you know what? I'm so sorry. You know what? I'm just not used to dating cheap dudes, okay? My, my bad. I must have uh, I downgraded, you know, psh. Don't apologize for what you want, okay? If the man cannot deliver, then you don't need to be with a man. If the man can't give you what you want, if the man don't think you deserve things, you don't need to be with him, okay? Please understand this. If you feel like you deserve something, you're vibrating on that level of deserving something. It's going to come to you. If you stuck with a man who is vibrating on a level that you don't deserve something, you're, he's going to block you every time. He's going to block, block 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 because you're with him you are sleeping with him you are dependent on him to bring you what you think you deserve but over here he's thinking oh she only deserves a walmart gift basket over here you say oh, i deserve some jewelry some shoes blah 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 blah. you know some shopping money da, da, da. and he's over here thinking walmart basket 9.99 okay so you sitting over here vibrating. I deserve everything. He's, he's sitting over here vibrating. She only deserves a Walmart gift club. But when y'all collide together, you're going to get a Walmart gift basket at the end of the day. And then you're just going to be mad. Okay. Because he's blocking what you deserve. And he's not on that same frequency because you haven't demanded better in the past. If you started with high expectations and you made him meet them from day one, he's no, he's going to know better not to go get you no Walmart gift basket. Okay, so someone said they got a phone case from AliExpress. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I got a teddy bear and a balloon. Wow. And y'all were happy with that, right? No, ma'am. I would have thrown it back at him or given it to my child right in front of them. Oh, here, baby, you can have this. Merry Christmas. And just walked out. You, if you're, If you're too nice, just give the gift to someone else right in front of them. If you want to do it the nice way. Oh, this is so nice. You know what? I bet your mom would love this. Here you go. I don't need that. You know, I can't really do it. I'm allergic to um, stuff like that. I have to have like organic, like Lush and stuff like that. You know, Lush bath products. I can't use this synthetic. No. Be all snooty with it. I can't use this. Um... And just don't apologize. Just here you go. You know, don't even acknowledge anything about it. Just give it right away. If you want to be nice, nasty, just give it away. Keep the peace. Then he's going to be like, why did you give your gift away to my mom? Because that's not my real gift, is it? Um, um, 
Well, I didn't need it. I don't want it. I'm allergic to that stuff. You should know that by now. You know, I, only, I can only use nice, nice products, expensive stuff. Um, then he's going to feel real stupid. So another thing about accepting only what you deserve, you know, when you're online trying to date or when you're out and about and you're sitting down and you're, you know, people are approaching you. Um, if they don't have what you are looking for, if they don't fit the description of, you know, uh, able to provide, impress you and da, 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 don't, don't accept it because the law of attraction, as well as one of the, the 17 laws of success say, if you don't want something, do not accept it. Okay. So make sure you're following that law because it's going to bring you what you want. A lot of girls in the group are saying, ever since I joined this group with like-minded women, I've had these type of men start coming up to me, start approaching me because you're vibrating on a similar frequency as women who deserve and know what they deserve in the world. And men are picking up on it who also understand a woman's worth. Okay. And they're going to be attracted to you because you're vibrating on that level. Okay, you're gonna be on the same frequency. So they're going to have an attraction towards you. That's just it. Okay, so you can't hang around low level friends who don't think they deserve anything. You can't hang around low level men who don't think you or them deserve any any better. You can't hang around anybody who drags you down to a lower expectation. Okay, you can't you got to X out your old friends who are broke, broke minded, pick me chicks, you got to X them out. Okay, you have to cut off communication if you want to level up. And that's the truth. You can't keep no pick me friends in this lifestyle if you want to elevate yourself to the next level. You just can't do it. First of all, because they're going to start hating on you because they can't do what you do. They're going to start <clears throat> calling you materialistic, stuck up, the same as the, the guys who can't afford you. They're going to start being jealous of you because they're going to watch you bypass them get taken seriously, be taken to nice places, given nice gifts while they're sitting here, up here with a balloon and a teddy bear for Christmas or Valentine's Day while you got jewelry and, uh, you know, something nice. So make sure you X those people out or just limit your time with them. Okay. Don't hang around them too long. Just, you know, if it's family, go to, go to gatherings or whatever, Go sit in the corner, go get on your phone, just avoid, you know, don't talk about your relationship, change the subject. Okay. I'm in medical school and I'm really ambitious, but I can't seem to find someone I believe, I believe deserves me. It gets hard sometimes. Um, focus on yourself, get through school. Okay. Um, after you finish school and you have free time and, you know, you're working or whatever you're you know i don't know if you're going to be a doctor or a nurse or whatever but remember a lot of guys are intimidated by certain women's careers so you can't go talking about your medical school to people okay you gotta they, they shouldn't know why you're in school it's, it's it's kind of like saying i'm super smart i can i have the potential to make a lot of money but I want a man who was going to give me the world. They're not, you're not the same as a woman who's a receptionist, who's going to worship them for giving them, you know, um, a, a gift, a gift card for $200, you know, you're up here. So they can't impress you. And I, I've said this in many videos, don't go around telling people what you do and what you're in school for. Okay. Um, this idiot guy said women expect men to prove their worth. Like, duh, women should just date any dude. No, okay. Women who, okay, a lot of guys say, oh, you need to prove your worth. If you come in a place dressed like you know you're worth everything, you don't have to prove nothing. Your appearance proves it, okay? If you only wear the best perfume, the best makeup, the best clothes, or the best looking clothes, and you walk into a place, a man already knows your worth because you don't take crap. That means you, your worth is high. Your self-worth is high. You come in a place looking raggedy with, you know, uh, um, 
her old ratted up wigs, smelling, um, steam sweatpants, uh, flip flops on with ashy, ashy feet and long claw toenails. They already know what you're about. Okay. And I have seen women that come out in public like that. And I just, I'm dressed up like this and I'm looking at them and I'm not making any judgment. I'm just saying, I watch how she gets treated versus how I get treated. Okay. And it's a lot different. That's all I'm saying. So when you walk out, you don't have to prove your worth to any man. Your look will prove your worth. Okay. That's why broke men will not approach you when you look pulled together, classy, like they don't have a chance because they know your worth. They know they can't impress you. They know you're going to reject them because you know your worth. So whenever, I, if a man asks you, well, you need to prove your worth, that means you're not put together. That means you're not put together right. You know what I'm saying? And they'll probably only do it online because they couldn't say that kind of crap in person. Mm -mm. Men couldn't say that in person. Why? Because they're sitting over here nervous around you because you look good, smell good, and their their senses, their male senses are taking over, and they would never dare say that to you. They would just buy you whatever you ask for right then and there. Okay? So don't get discouraged if you're online and these men are saying this, this, and that. Just simply tell them, well, you know, if you saw me in person, I know that your conversation would be a lot different. And you're very lucky to be even talking to me online because I normally don't entertain men like you. You know, they're normally uh, unable to approach me because they see what they're dealing with and they see that I'm very high maintenance and that I don't put up with the BS. So they just don't even talk to me because they already know they don't have what it takes. You know, that's what you got to tell them online. You know, you're lucky to be talking to me. Okay, I know, I know, I, I'm looking at your profile picture and I would never even notice you. So this is probably the highlight of your day, you know, <laughs> that's what I would say. I don't even, I wouldn't even be arguing with them. I would just laugh and say, you know, you're very lucky that you got my attention. Congratulations. Probably the, going to be the last time, but <laughs> what if you're dating a guy that last year of medical school, he wants a serious relationship financial He's not on a point where he's a student. Is he worth the wait? <sighs> um, honestly, I don't wait for men. Okay, I would never wait for a man. Okay, because while you're waiting for that man, a real man could be passing you by. Okay, will he wait for you? That's the question. You don't wait for men, they wait for you. Okay? No, you say, you know what? When you finish school, you know, let's, let's see where we are. He's going to want you even more. Why? Because you're not sitting on there waiting on him like a fool. Like you have a life. You know your worth. You're holding out for better. It's like, oh, you know what? I would love to go out with you and celebrate you graduating medical school. Please call me when you graduate. I'll still be here. You know, I'm working, just make up a lot. I'm working real hard right now and focusing on myself. And, you know, I want you to put all your attention towards finishing school. And then when you get out, you know, let's celebrate. There you go. Now you're free. He's, he's waiting on you. Okay. Men don't wait on us. They toss us aside when they're done. Uh -huh. That's why you don't wait on a man. Never wait on a man. If, if some man asks you to wait on him, he does not value you at all. He doesn't value. Okay. Um. So, once again, a lot of the women on here that watch my channel, they watch, but they don't really do anything about what their situation is. You know, they'll wait to the last minute to try to do something. They'll have a thousand more excuses of why they can't leave their man. You know what? My mom, she didn't deal. She didn't take BS. If she didn't like something, she was gone the next day. The next day or the next week. She was gone. She was like, uh-uh, I know you. No, I'm out. You know, she, she knew she deserved better. You know, if she would have stayed with her first husband, she would be broke, maybe dead, living in the hood. Okay, she knew she deserved better. She got up 
and left. Didn't even take nothing. She's bye. I deserve better. Okay. She didn't sit there and make excuses for him. She didn't sit there and say, hey, it's going to be better. I'm going to push him to the next level. She didn't say none of that. She's like, I'm out of here. I deserve better. I look good. Let me go get me another different type of man who knows my worth, you know? So don't sit there and make excuses and wait and hope and dream that this fool who doesn't know your value is going to get better. He's not, okay? So move on. It's so easy. Don't try to change him. Move on. Go replace him. You know, men don't do this to women. Men do not try to change women. Men do not sit up here and sulk because their woman won't do better. Men just get up and leave. That's what they do. Why can't you do the same? Why do you have this stupid guilt? Why do you have this guilt of why you can't get up? I can get up and leave and be good if I were in a bad relationship, you know? Because I know who I am and I know my worth. I, I don't have low self-esteem and... The best revenge is to do better and get to rub it in their face later on, you know? Don't sit there and take it because you don't, because you're lazy and you can't get up and you can't, you don't like change and stuff like that. If you feel that way, that is what your life's going to be, okay? That's what it's going to be. Mm-hmm. So... Y'all, I don't, I don't even look at the trolls anymore. They're, sometimes it's a trick and they want you to click on it to delete them so they can um, hack. So I'm not even deleting them. Okay, so. Okay. And another thing, like a lot of, a lot of you women live in your own world. Okay. You, you have your little own circle on Facebook. You have your own circle on social media. You have your own circle in your neighborhood or your surroundings and friends. You're not in the real world. Okay. You only expose yourself to a certain type of people and what they like, is not the same thing as what other people like who are more abundant. Okay. So you're going to have to also adjust and understand it's not about what you like. It's about what the type of men that you want to attract like, okay? If you think you deserve a good lifestyle and the man who wants to give it to you thinks he deserves a woman who uh, is he's attracted to, you know, you might have to change your looks. You might have to change your hair. You might have to change your makeup. You might have to change how you dress. And... That's a small price to pay for the type of life that you really want and deserve. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Someone says, any woman who uses her coochie for money is a prostitute. Oh. Well, you know what? If I were to give it away free, then I'd be a fool. Okay? And a stupid idiot. So I'd rather be called a prostitute than a fool. Okay? Prostitutes got money in their hands. Fools don't. Okay? I would be a prostitute any day before I be a fool, okay? Men just want free sex so they don't have to work as hard to get it. Too many pick me chicks are giving away free sex so men think it's normal and they deserve it. No, you don't deserve free sex at all and you never will. Those women who are giving it away, they have low self value. So I don't, I don't mind being called a prostitute as long as you don't call me broke or a fool and I'm not giving nothing away free, you know what I'm saying? Never, ever, ever. Ever. Any man who dated me already knows they got to come with some money. That's just it. Ask my husband. He already know. If he stopped paying bills, if he stopped doing stuff for me, I'm start looking elsewhere. I'm like, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Because no, I already told him. I'm like, look, you the man, I'm the woman. If you can't provide for me, you need to tell me. So I can go find somebody who can. Because I already told you from day one what it's about. I like to be provided for. I like things done a certain way, which is you providing for me every step of the way. And if you can't do that, I can't be with you. That's just straight up. And he already knows. There is no, oh, well, you got to take care of me in my downtime. And, oh, you got to do this because I can't. No, either you can or I'm gone. I don't accept what I don't want. That is it. That is this one of the laws of success. If you can't follow it, you can't be successful. Okay? You got to put your foot down and they will respect you for it. 
Okay, it will keep them working. It will keep them going and getting that money and bringing it to you. It's not going. They don't. They're not going to think about taking a break. Okay, so tell them how it is, what you expect and what you don't accept. Okay. Yeah, so another thing, any man who expects you to give it up for free doesn't value you either, okay? They don't value. If, if, if they want to sleep with you, penetrate you for free, they don't value. They don't want to give you something for making them feel special, feel good. They don't value. They just see you as a sexual object and they don't value you, okay? So don't give it up for free. Make them invest. People always value the things that they invest in. You ever notice that? You make your child pay for something and they're going to treat it right. They're not going to lose it. You pay for something, they're going to lose it the next day and say, oh, I don't care. Make them pay for stuff. Make them purchase you things. Make them invest in you then they will value you even more, okay? You don't give away free sex to broke men. That's a no-no, okay? If you do that, you're a fool and you deserve everything that man does to you. Why? Because you chose to let him devalue you, okay? Yes. Um... Okay, if y'all are in the group anymore, don't talk to me. I don't kick people out the group. That's my administrator. She looks to see who posts. If you don't post, she removes you. So I, I, it wasn't up to me. Um, I keep telling people you got to post, which is not commenting. It's posting on the wall of the group. If you didn't post on the wall in the group in the last couple of months, there's a, a thing on Facebook that shows who posts and who don't. She just, it's not personal. She just goes and clicks all the inactive members and gets them out, okay? So make room for more. So if you are if you were an inactive member and you are not in the group anymore, it's because you weren't posting and we just went down the list, nothing personal, and got the inactive members out. That's all. So, um, you can get back in if you write to Mickey Fox on Facebook, all right? You can get back in. If not... You know, but it's going to cost, like, she's going to charge you still to get back in because, you know, it costs, it costs time and effort to sit there and go through all those people who are inactive and sit there and delete, da 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 So there is a fee to get back in if you were kicked out. I'm sorry. If you're not serious about the group and you're not posting and, and being active in it, it's just because, you know, they don't want lurkers in there lurking around, not posting or nothing. So they just, she just kicked them out. So it's not me. Is that me? Okay. I don't um I don't delete anyone unless like someone comes to me and shows me some really bad things that this person is doing, then I'll take it into my hands. But they're just random non-posters, a click next to the box and then it's gone. Okay, it's not anything personal. Okay. Um so if you don't like gold digger, why are you here? <laughs> who, who, who don't like a gold digger? Um, let's see. Okay, some okay. Some guy says he's not MGTOW. He just don't like gold digging women. Okay, that's fine. A lot of a lot of women are not gold diggers. You know, this is the channel for them for gold diggers. So you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say you're on the wrong channel um so sorry you 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 came upon a gold digger video my bad but you know there are plenty of women out there who will take you with nothing all right I'm pretty sure of it and take care of you okay I'm not broke. You people are sad if you judge men by how much. You're broke if you think gold. You're broke if you use the term gold digger. 
okay? Because men with money, they don't see women as gold digger. They see them as investments or, you know, giving a woman money is not hurting their pockets. So it's, you know, they don't care. Men with money are used to paying for things that they want. It's not a big thing. You know, men with have to keep a budget and watch their bank account. Of course, they're going to not like gold diggers because it's going to mess with their bottom line and, you know, how much money they have to spend for the month, you know, their rent. So, of course, you might not be broke, but you're not rich enough to understand that the term gold digger is only used by broke men. Okay. What if he stopped giving you money for no reason? That means you should have had a plan B, like I always tell y'all. And you just go to the next one, okay? Because eventually a man is going to get tired of you. He's not trying to be with you forever. You're a sugar baby. And when he grows tired, he's going to move on to another sugar baby that looks better than you, younger than you, more exciting than you. He's going to let you go. That's why I always say have two or more on the side. Don't get caught up in one, okay? They're not trying to marry you. They're just wanting you for what they want. And when they get grow tired of you, it's on to the next. So always have that backup. Always. I'm dating a younger guy, but he's rich and he has a business and he booked an Australian trip. Wow, I love Australia. Well, I've never been, but it's so beautiful on TV. <laughs> um, Shira makes her own money. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> who said who talking about who's talking about me what is the amount of money that makes a man interesting oh at least six figures six figures hey, they can't be below no six figures you know at least Um, I judge women by what's in their heart. Oh, that's so nice. Sure you do. Because there's a lot of good women with nice hearts that you're just dying to, to be with, right? Lie. See how men lie? Um, how much should an engagement ring cost? Well, that depends. Like if you want, if you want a nice engagement ring, you need to tell him that, you know, that that's one of your main things that you are really looking forward to. You need to voice that. You need to tell him what type of diamond you like. You need to tell him the store to go get it from. You need to tell him all this because men don't know. Okay. I told my husband, I'm like, look, I like princess cut and I don't, and I want at least one and a half carrots. At least. If you go higher than that, great. If you can't, oh well. You know, that's that's the least that I will take. Okay? That's the least I'm going to take. If you can't get any better than that, you better get a credit card or something. Okay? So, it just depends. If the man is willing to go in debt over a ring, great. If he can pay for it, great. Whatever. It just depends on the financial situation. Some people don't have a lot of money to just blow on jewelry. Some people will get a payment plan and pay monthly on it. Some people just buy stuff and don't like credit, buy it cash or, you know, debit. And there it is, you know. So it just depends on what your financial situation is. For me, I just, you know, I was surprised. He had already bought me an engagement ring that was one and a half carats. So I was already good. He bought me another ring for the wedding. So I had two rings. I lost one of them though. So this is the only one that's left. But I had way more than I asked for. That's for sure. Um, yeah, any, any woman that's guilty for demanding what she deserves, she's not going to attract it to her. So y'all have to stop feeling this guilt that men don't feel at all. You know, we got men up here in the comments lying and say, oh, I, we look for what's in the heart of a woman. Y'all y'all got men up here lying today. Um, 
because we know that's not true. We already know that's not true. Mm -hmm. How do I make a woman happy? Be a provider for her, you know, pay everything, pay all the bills. Tell her to go follow your dreams and that you love her and basically that's about it. <laughs> that's all it took for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. This guy I'm dating just asked me for $400. What? I know you lying. <laughs> Y'all watch uh that guy on Instagram. What's his name? Um, Goddamn so. I know you lying. Why would he ask you for $400? And why would you even let him ask you? That's stupid. I would be like, uh, you must be talking to the wrong girl because no, <laughs> go ask somebody else. I don't give men money. Period. Never, ever, ever. Okay. Okay, let's see. I missed. Mm. Okay, so this lady is talking about, I'm not a hoe, I'm not in the whole game. I don't sleep with men for money. I just want men to treat me as I deserve. I'm too good of a person to be mistreated. Um, Especially if you're too spiritual, men are going to think that you're low, low value, okay? Because being too spiritual means, oh, you're not into materialistic things, oh. They can treat you any type of way and give you what you want. Even if you don't really feel like that, you need to act like that to get the respect that you need. Okay. I'm very spiritual, but I'd be damned if somebody come up to me at Christmas time with a Walmart gift basket. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you got to act like, okay, I'm, I'm a spiritual person. I, I love the trees and the flowers and, you know, the earth and, you know, um, I astral travel. First, the first thing they think, oh, she's going to pay my bills. She's very spiritual. She's going to want to do all this spiritual stuff, which is free. And they're going to target you. They're not going to give you the respect that they're going to give someone like me because I come off like I need them to come correct. You can't be spiritual, acting, and then expect a man to come give you the world because they target women like you on purpose because you don't expect much out of life except what you can give yourself they just come with some fake knowledge that they didn't looked up on a youtube video and try to impress you and then when it's time to go out to dinner oh i don't eat that it's not organic it's not vegan oh i guess we can't go nowhere to eat. how about you come over to my house and i cook for you you know then they exp that's a free date right there you know so when you are spiritual don't tell them that that's a red flag to treat you like nothing. Okay, I don't go around telling people I'm spiritual. Oh, I'm spiritual. Oh, I'm spiritual. They be asking you for free stuff. They be trying to get over on you. They try to ask you for stuff. Oh, you're spiritual. You're supposed to give me stuff for free because you're such a good person, you know, love and light. Oh, hell no. No, I'm spiritual don't mean uh, I'm stupid. So no, I don't, I don't, like, I will tell somebody, yes, I expect, um, uh, some type of compensation for my time and energy. Yes, I do. Just like anybody, any good business person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody says, oh, I'm a free spirit. That means free sex. That's what somebody said in the comments. Free spirit equal free sex. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Does a guy change his mind about marriage and having children, especially if he would not have a vasectomy? 
I don't know. If, if some man is already telling you that, that means they're not into you. You're not a wife material. Move it along, okay? A man is not going to tell a woman that who he thinks is wife material if he ever wants to get married. A man don't come out and tell women that type of stuff, okay? That that's That is a red flag for don't even try. Okay? Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, what happens if you were content with what he made in the beginning, but now you want more? He provides, but I want better lifestyle. What we have kids. A lot of married women who are married to mediocre men go out and get sugar daddies on the side. Okay. Um, that's just how it is. They just go, okay. They get on one of the websites, find a sugar daddy, go meet them for lunch, go meet them, you know, here and there, and they get the money that they want. Your man ain't gonna do no better because you married him like that. And y'all already have kids. He's comfortable. He's he's just, you, you never pushed him before. So you can't start doing it now. They're not gonna accept it. You understand? So go get you a man on the side, a sugar daddy on the side. You don't have to sleep with him. You just make sure you're old and ugly and he'll give you whatever you want, okay? Lunch dates, keep it in the daytime while he's at work. No problem. Women do it all the time. It's very common. You know, if your man can't give you what you deserve, go find someone who will. Keep it, you know, keep it. Don't give him your real name. Don't let him know where you live. Don't tell him nothing about yourself. Just that, oh, well, we can go out. We can date. We can have fun. I gotta. I can't see you on the weekend or at night. Keep it daytime only. Bring me some gifts. Give me some money. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Um. Someone says, don't question my motives. Question why they trigger you. They don't trigger me. I hope you're not talking to me. Um, I'm just saying, I see women like you get mistreated a lot and they're always in my inbox crying. So I was just trying to prevent you from being like that. Okay. Um, sometimes, you know, it's not you, it's them. You know, you're doing nothing wrong, but you have to live in a world where men are doing everything wrong. Okay. So it's, it's more for protection. It's not about your morals. This is this is where a lot of spiritual people get messed up. They don't understand the difference between acting and really believing what you believe. Okay. They don't understand this. They can't draw this line. They can't say, okay, I know I believe a you know A, B, C, and D, but I'm gonna act like I don't, so I get what I want. Understand? You can still have your morals, but you can't show them. That's how you get ahead. You don't live, you don't show everyone your morals. It's not for everyone to know. Okay. <laughs> so. So a man should not know that you're a free spirit. A man shouldn't know that you Think, you know, that you talk about 3D and 5D earth and stuff like that. A man should know that. A man should know how smart you are. A man should know how spiritual you are. Okay? A man should know all these things that he can use against you. A man should know those things. If you sitting up here blabbing your mouth and telling everybody everything, trying to be extra this and extra that and impress him, he's supposed to be impressing you. Okay? All you're doing is giving him ammunition to do you wrong. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So if you want to tell the world about everything you know and do, great. Don't be surprised when they ask you for $400 too. Um,
Where do you get all this wisdom? It's common sense, you know? Um, most women understand that men are liars, right? And feel no guilt to do you wrong. Yet women still feel the opposite way. Oh, well, he's going to be better. Oh, I feel guilty for doing that. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I got to keep my spirituality out for the public. Oh, I got to do. Why? Why you got to do it and he don't? Why do you feel the need to do it when he doesn't? I don't know. Because you were programmed to. Deprogram yourself and you won't feel the guilt. You'll just be like, hey, you know, he was going to do it to me anyway, so. You did it to her, you did it to your baby mama, you did it to your ex, you ain't finna do it to me. I'm finna do it right on to you and move along. I don't feel any guilt. If you feel like you can deal with me, great. If you can meet my expectations, great. If you can meet my demands, great. You can stick around. If you can't, you can't stay. Bye. You know, that's just how it is. So, you know, instead of feeling guilty and trying to really be a certain way, be that way but act a different way when it's time to get what you need. It says, my cousin is a bitch and living the life. My sweet Christian half-sister is struggling. Her husband done so, some mean stuff to her. You know, that's how it like. Nice women finish last, y'all. Y'all should know this by now. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to read some of these comments. Uh, I can't see. Um, how can I tell my brother to wait till, okay. Brother, oh God. <laughs> Some guy asked, how can I tell my brother to wait till his erection to go down before getting breakfast? Tell him, just straight up. Look. I don't know how old he is, but if he's young, tell him in a nice way. Like, you know, you shouldn't come out your room until everything is calm. Everything is calm. <laughs> Throw some cold water on it or something. A married man has been giving me money and now he wants to fly me out. I don't believe in sleeping with married men. However, he's going to give gift me as well. I'll consider it. What should I demand before he flies me out? Well, this is up to you. You know, if he's married, you can get more out of him than the single guy. So you got to figure out if you want, if you, think about something that you always wanted, but you, that nobody can get you. And then ask him for that. If he don't give it to you, don't sleep with him. There you go. Get you a Chanel bag. Get you something. Get you something that will appreciate and value. I know I would. <laughs> So, anyway, let's see. I got a deep question. Why people, especially men, hate virgin men? Why people, especially men, hate virgin men? Virgin men. I have never, I, well, actually, I did meet a virgin man, and they were only 18. And I took their virginity. <laughs> um, but I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't think they hate them. Most men don't go around telling people they're virgins, though. So it's like a mystery. They don't know. How long should we wait on a man to come visit and stop talking to him? To come visit? I don't know. Does he live out of state? Long distance relationships, unless they're based on money, don't really work. Mm. 
Someone says, you you saying masculinity is being whorish? No, I'm saying most men don't tell women that they are virgins. That's why that's what I'm saying. You know, most men are gonna say, Hey, I'm a virgin, you know, because that is ammunition. That is, oh, well, if I if I give him something, he's gonna be hooked on this and do whatever I say. He's gonna fall in love. I can do whatever I need to do to him, you know. Uh, but he gotta have some money because I ain't giving it up for free. So, any relationship based on money never works. I know you lying. <laughs> I work every time for some people. It's like, okay, it's kind of like this. Colleges, Ivy League schools versus community college, okay? If you go to a certain school, you're going to get taught. You're going to get educated. Blah, 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 blah. You could get a decent job. But if you are accepted into an Ivy League school, you're going to get the best jobs, okay? You're going to live the best type of life, and you're going to get what you deserve in life, even if you don't deserve it, because you are associated with greatness. You're associated with mediocrity and low, you know, low income. That's what you're going to vibrate. Love is how you feel about yourself. It's not about another person. If you love yourself, you're not going to settle for less than you know you deserve. You're not going to accept crap you don't want, okay, which is a broke man. You love yourself, which is who you're supposed to love first and foremost. You're going to love someone who can love you the way that you like to be loved, provided for, given a good lifestyle, blah, 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 okay? So if you love yourself enough to get the type of man that you want, who's going to love you and know your value and give you the life that you want, that's love, okay? Just because you have a physical attraction and an emotional attachment to some random person, even though they're broke, that does not make love. That doesn't mean that you're in love with that person. It means that you, you're putting them before yourself, okay? Knowing that that love is conditional. If you mess up, that person's leaving. Okay? If you love yourself, do what you expect, and you choose the type of person to be with because you love yourself, it doesn't matter if they leave. Okay? Because you chose what you wanted, first and foremost, and what was best for you. So if you're going to get left by a rich husband versus a poor husband, which one is going to leave you with more? The rich husband or the poor husband? Which one is going to leave you with more money? Which one is going to love you enough to give you some money so you can go start your life over? Which one is going to be so much in love with you that even if he left you, you're still great financially? And taken care of financially when you marry a broke man because you had some feelings some temporary emotional feelings that probably wore off after the first two years when he leaves you what are you gonna be homeless gotta move back with your mama right then god go chase him for child support right so guess what i love myself and love has everything to do with choosing a partner who can provide for me because i love myself and i know what i want and i reject everything else that's it okay so you can you can talk about conditional love doesn't mean money yeah whatever that's stupid love that's struggle love I don't want it don't need it and you can you can keep it but I don't invite that into my life because it never works either mm -hmm. I choose self love and if you can if you can love if you can give me the love that I deserve and that I want yes then I'll love you back but mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to love yourself first and not accept crap that you wouldn't accept if you weren't having some emotional feelings, you know? Does it make sense on paper, you know? Mm -hmm. 
if any woman asks me how much money I have, I dump her. Da, da, da. Good, because you don't want to waste her time. She'll be on to the next person who really has some money to offer her. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would be thankful if a man dumped me after, after I asked him, you know, what you make, how much you got, what can you do for me? I would be happy if he dumped me right there and there because that means he's not lying to me. He's not trying to pretend like he has money and I can move on to the next man who really does have money. You know what I mean? So you're doing women a favor by dumping them if they ask you a question that most women should be asking men who they're wasting time with. Okay. That's, that's the first thing I asked my husband. The first thing I asked my husband when we met, how much money do you make? What do you do? What kind of car do you drive? That's the first thing I asked him. First thing. He, he walked up to me. Hi, my name is da 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 blah, 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 blah. Started talking. I'm like, oh, okay. What do you do for a living? Oh, really? How much money do they make? Oh, oh that's nice. Okay. What kind of car do you drive? Straight. Are you married? Straight up. Straight up question. Why? Because I'm not wasting time. Life, time is time is money. You can't answer my questions. You don't have what I want. I'm not going to waste my time and I'm going to reject you. That's just it. 17 laws of success. You know, men do it all the time. They interview the woman. Oh, what's your name? Oh, okay, great. What do you do? Oh, how many kids you got? You married? Okay. Next. They don't sit there and waste time unless they just after one thing. Then they'll pretend like they are okay with it. And once you give it up, they're gone still. So at least we know what we want and aren't afraid to ask for it. We don't care about losing a date. We care about losing time. Time is more valuable than somebody sitting here to pretend that he can do something for you. Okay. My time is more valuable than some random dude sitting up here pretending he can do something for you. Okay, I would rather you tell me straight up, look, I, I don't like gold diggers. I'm out. I can't do nothing for you. I'll be like, thank you for being honest. Appreciate it. Bye. Okay? Because my time is worth more than, than wasting my time. Okay? I don't care. <laughs> okay. That's, what, that's how you have to be in this world now. Okay? That's how you have to be. You don't want to waste time with some broke dude. All he's going to do is fill your head up with lies. And then you're going to start making excuses for him at Christmas time when he got you the Walmart gift basket. And But he said he was going to do this or he said he, you know, no. They can't do it right then and there when you meet them. Don't even bother. Move it on. Move it along. Somebody out there can do it for you. Okay. And a lot of ladies, you know, they they need to also understand that you got to pull yourself together if you want to get the same type of treatment as a woman who is pulled together you know what i'm saying you got to pull yourself together enough to compete with the next woman you can't just expect just because you feel like you deserve something if you felt like you deserve something you would look like you deserve something if you look like you deserve something then everyone know that you everyone will know that you do so self-love first Take care of yourself first. Get yourself together first. Then go and the men will just give you stuff. I promise you. You can't go out there looking scraggly and raggedy and say, I, I, I need you to do this for me. Give me some money. No, because first of all, you don't look like you deserve it. You don't look like you think you deserve it. You coming out the house raggedy, ugly, you know, go fix yourself up. Then you can demand the best. How are you going to demand the best wearing the worst, looking the worst, smelling the worst? You can't do that. So go get yourself together first, okay? Go get yourself together. Don't come out the house looking crazy and demanding stuff from guys. They're just going to laugh at you. Love yourself first. Get yourself together first. Get your looks together first. Get your wardrobe together first. Get your hair together first. Get your makeup together first. Then go out and demand the best because you look the best already, okay? If you got on everything looking good, they're not going to laugh at you for expecting the, the best. They're going to already know you expect the best, okay? A lot of the girls who are new to my channel or new in my group, you know, what am I doing wrong? How come I can't get a second day? Go work on yourself first. Then when you look like the lifestyle that you want, go demand what you want, okay? Don't come out the house looking crazy, okay? That's all I'm gonna say, you know, 
if you don't know you look crazy, post your picture up and ask women, what can I do? Do I look good? Do I look like I deserve, you know, a, a 200 bottle of perfume, a $200 bottle of perfume? Do I look like I deserve that? Could I ask for that looking like this? Could I ask for a $200 bottle of perfume and be taken seriously? Yes or no? The answer is yes, go out the house. If the answer is no, go back to your closet, to your mirror. Okay? You can't walk out the house looking trashy and expecting the best. It don't work like that. Okay? And I, I'm being honest with y'all. You got to know you deserve it first and foremost. So, if you have a problem with fixing yourself up, if you don't think you have enough time to fix yourself up, blah, 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 blah. You need to figure out a simple, classy look that you do have time for, that will get you the respect and that will get you the recognition that you deserve more in life. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, it doesn't take that much. You know, it doesn't take that much. You spend more money on a lot of other stuff that's ratchet or price, you know, that doesn't go up in value then you could spend on something that will demand you respect. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all will go and spend $200 on Fashion Nova and that stuff will be out of style next month versus getting nice pieces that will last many years that are considered classic and da 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 that will demand respect. You know, okay, it's not all about what's trending. It's about what's respected, what's what looks expensive and what will demand better treatment. But that's how you need to dress. Now, if you're going on a date at night and you need to look sexy, great, do it, whatever. But when you're going out in the daytime, you know, walking around, shopping, da da da, you need to look cool together, okay? Because people will treat you that way. Um, you know, you can't always look like you're going on a date either. You gotta look. You gotta have different looks for different times, okay? Casual, um, you know, shopping. Uh, you need to have a look for each thing that you do because you don't know who you're going to run into, you know? And if you have to slip out and go do something unexpected, you need to be dressed, you know? Um, what if you ran into someone from high school or, you know, an, uh, an old boyfriend and you're looking crazy? Always leave your house looking the absolute best, depending on what you're dressed up for, you know? Okay. Believe it or not, I'm trying to help you. Men don't want whores. Yeah, right. Broke men don't want whores because they're easily led astray with the money. Okay? Broke men don't want whores because whores are always trying to upgrade. They don't expect, they don't accept you for too long. If you can't give them what they want, they're on to the next. Okay? Whores and broke men don't mix. Okay? A whore will stop being a whore for a rich man. I, I guarantee you that. Okay? The only reason y'all call them whores is because you can't afford them. Okay. To normal guys with, you know, six figures and up, they're just women with high expectations. Okay. So, of course, broke men don't like whores. They ain't got no money. So, if that's what you want to call women with high expectations, great. It doesn't bother us. We still get our money. Call us what you want. We still got what we need. Okay. So, you're not trying to help anybody. You're just trying, you're just showing us that you're broke. You understand? You're not helping us. You're just showing us what you lack. You're showing us that you lack money. You're showing us that you lack anything because you have to, you have to say a woman is a whore because she wants the best in life. So a woman who wants the best in life is a whore. Okay. Well, to me, that's just saying I'm broke. I can't afford the best in life. So I'm gonna call you a whore because I can't get you for free great whatever whatever makes you sleep at night go ahead with it i don't care <laughs> but you know whatever makes you happy okay what time is it oh i gotta go to my other channel now i got some stuff to do on that channel um Yeah, I love whores, but I won't marry a whore. Good, because if you married a whore, you would have to keep going higher and higher and get more money. Okay, because 
she's all she would always be trying to upgrade on you okay she would push you to the next level or she would leave you for somebody who's already up there so do not marry whores because if you fall off if you don't make enough money if she finds someone worth more than you she's gone okay so marry the little pick me chicks who will do anything for you okay don't marry don't marry someone who knows her worth marry someone who will stay with you through thick and thin and take care of you if need be don't marry a woman who demands the best of us okay? don't do it it's not worth it for me i you know i already said look you can't take care of me then you don't deserve me you can't take care of your child what they do take them away right you can't take care of your child child services will come and take your child you can't take care of your wife your wife will remove herself and place herself in a position where somebody else can't okay that's just it you can't do it somebody else will <laughs> okay it must be shameful not to be able to take care of yourself i can take care of myself but why should i pay when somebody else will i should i should be able to save all my money my savings should be actually my savings is very large because i don't have to pay for myself i can save everything that i earn because my man provides you understand i'm not unable to take care of myself believe me i could but why would i want to spend my money when i could spend somebody else's that's another rule for 17 laws of success why spend yours when i could spend theirs that's what investors do they don't spend their own money they get an investor. I'm just being a good businesswoman. Y'all are the ones that are programming stupid. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm sorry that you got to take care of yourself and you can't provide for yourself. I done figured out how to do it, how to get taken care of and saved. Okay. Mm hmm If you could take care of yourself, why do you need a man? I don't need a man. They need me. Okay? I'm the one that inspires them to get up every day and go earn some money and bring it on home. Okay? They need me. I don't need them. So that's the, that's the thing about it. Most women or most guys, they don't realize. You know, most men need women for inspiration to get up out of bed and go to work okay what are you working for if not to get the type of woman you want or the type of lifestyle you want or what you think you deserve in life if a man thinks he deserves a certain type of woman he's gonna get up and go work so he can have it it's like you know just that's how men are so yes my man uh can take care of me and i can take care of myself but i allow him to pay for everything and i save my own money if I wanted to leave any day, I could go and still live the same lifestyle as I'm living now. But why would I struggle, pay for stuff, sacrifice, go work for somebody else, leave my house? Why would I do all that when I don't have to? That's done. What, to get some recognition, employee of the month somewhere? I don't care. I don't care about that. What's, what's that going to do for me? Nothing. Right? Like, I don't need a career to feel like I'm someone. If I did, you know, then that means I don't know who I am before that, okay? Plus, companies and corporations are not loyal to their employees. They will fire you like this, let you go like that after 20 years. Why would I be loyal to a company? You know, that's stupid to me. I'm going to be loyal to myself, first and foremost. Mm-hmm. So, no. My finances are far from perfect. Do you suggest that I be more stable before going after rich man? I had a lawyer guy tell me that he preferred women to have their finances together. If you're going into a relationship with a successful man, he's not going to respect you if you're in a ton of debt, about to be evicted, you know, 
just living broke. No, he's not going to respect that because that means you're irresponsible. Okay. It means your priorities are out of whack. It means you make emotional decisions. It's, it means you're not balanced. Okay. So yes, get your finances to at least a point where you're not in danger. Okay. If you're in danger and struggling about to be homeless, can't pay the light bill, don't mess with anybody. Get yourself together first. Focus on this, you know? <sighs> okay. Okay. Whatever. I'm talking to this guy who says who's a pilot so he has money but he keeps asking me to come over and cuddle how do i get him to want to spend money on me first tell him to meet you at a nice hotel meet me in the bar of the four seasons okay then drink have some drinks have some dinner and then let him know look i really like you and you know i think that we can really have some fun together. But I don't just go and cuddle with random men, you know? <laughs> I like, to, you know, I like to be turned on first and it takes a few things to turn me on. So I just want this meeting, because this is not a date. I want this meeting to, to let you know what turns me on. Then you lay down. Lay down the stuff that turns you on. I love shopping. I love when a man takes me shopping. I love when a man, you know, just, you know, books a spa trip for me. I love when a man asks me if I need anything and just puts money in my purse. Blah, 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 blah. And then add some sexual stuff in there too. So it's not all just straight up money. You know, I love when a man gives me massages and does this and that. You know, every other one should be about money. Mix it up, you know. It's like, uh, you know what, y'all? I got to go, but y'all get the drift, okay? So I'm going to see y'all on the next video. And keep your standards high. Know what you deserve and don't settle for anything you don't want. Because life is too short, time is valuable, and all you're going to do is sit there miserable while everybody else is getting what they want, okay? So I'll see y'all later. Bye!